Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be going through some of the basic homebrew apps for the Xbox 360, JTAG, and IGH, and I'm going to explain what they do. First up, we've got XEX Menu, which is a file manager for the Xbox 360. XEX Menu allows you to navigate and manage files on your Xbox's hard drive or external storage devices. Most people use this for transferring games, mod menus, plugins from their computer to their console. XEX Menu can also be used to rip DVD games to the hard drive. XEX Menu also has a game library where you can see all the games that are located in your storage media. Although through XEX Menu, you can load any XEX file. This includes homebrew, games, or emulators. Although it has multiple features, it is mainly a file manager for the console. Next up we've got Dash Launch, which is a homebrew app that allows you to control various aspects of the console and the console's boot process. Dash Launch is mostly used by beginners to install plugins, which are pieces of software, almost add-ons to the console software, which run automatically on the console's boot. These plugins include things like mod menus, which will be installed through Dash Launch. It can also set the default application which is launched when the console is powered on. So if you want to use a custom dashboard like Aurora or Freestyle Dash, you will set that plugin through Dash Launch. There are lots of settings such as Xbox Live blocking, you can control temperatures, you can control your fan speeds, just a lot of general utilities that you wouldn't have access to on a normal retail console. Next we've got Simple360 NAND Flasher, which is a tool that lets you back up and restore NAND firmwares to your console. This software is mostly used for dashboard upgrades, but since there are not many updates anymore for the 360 console, this tool isn't really used as much. Keep in mind that if you're a beginner with an IGH console, I don't recommend that you mess with this tool, as if you did install a faulty NAND or a file which stopped working, it would require the console to be disassembled and soldered to in order to program the NAND with a proper flasher. Next we have Aurora, which is a customized dashboard for the 360 console. The original Xbox dashboard isn't ideal for running backup games that run on your hard drive or storage media, as it doesn't actually show them in the My Games tab. But with Aurora, it will automatically download cover art and sort, categorize your games into a nice user interface. One of my favorite parts about Aurora is that it has a built-in FTP plugin, so it's ideal for transferring games. This is my preferred dashboard of choice, and I have it auto-boot on all of my IGH consoles. Okay, that's it for today. If you've got any questions about this video or general modded consoles, you can drop a comment down below, and thanks for watching.